Hi, uh, we're going to install Selenium into our copy of NetBeans. Selenium is an awesome web development and testing tool. Um, following these steps today, you will be able to write any Selenium test that you want. Uh, the Selenium IDE is an add-on to a browser. That really is not a challenge. You go to the browser store, you add on the IDE, and then you simply walk through the website and click on the parts you want to interact with, type in the data you want, and then check the assertions to see that the values go through there. Um, it's not the best tool, but it is very good for learning Selenium syntax. Uh, Selenium WebDriver is used for writing your own test. This is a very complicated tool. Um, it allows you to write repeatable scripts in any programming language. It doesn't record mouse strokes. You have to create code to record your mouse strokes. It can simulate mouse motion, like moving left, moving down, up, down. You can also run tests in multiple browsers, and these tests can run very quickly, especially if you go in headless mode. To install Selenium on Chrome, you have to start by going to the Chrome Web Store and search for it. Install this one. That, again, will not be a challenge. Same thing in Firefox. Go to their add-ons, pick the Selenium E, the one that's got the cool little Selenium symbol. You might be wondering why this symbol is set up the way that it is. Selenium is also an element. So they chose a picture from the periodic table as their icon. Pretty clever. Well, the Selenium ID is not going to give you a challenge. The web driver is. The web driver is going to allow you to access the internet and connect the web pages. You've got a driver for every browser you want to interact with. I'm going to walk you through Firefox and Chrome today. To access a driver, you need to set it up correctly, and you need to go get the right drivers from the web. Okay. To start, create yourself a folder on your C drive. I have a folder called Selenium. It's right on my C drive. You can't miss it. C colon backslash, and I put the exclamation mark in front of it just so it's, it's sorts at the beginning. I don't care where you put it. Have a folder, but know where it is and know the whole path. I'd avoid downloads because you delete those a lot. I'd avoid desktop because the path is massive. Uh, everything you're downloading, you're putting to that folder. Visit Selenium HQ org download. This website has everything you need. Sorry for the 500 tabs. Here, scroll down. Pick which one to work with. Notice all the languages: Ruby, Java, Python, etc. Download it. Extract it to your folder. I've put mine here. Inside of this download are a variety of jar files. There are two here that you care about, and five here that you care about. Next, you need to get Mozilla Gecko. This will allow you to run in Firefox. Everything's maintained on the GitHub. Go to the GitHub. 28 is as of today, November 8, 2020. Scroll down below, get the version for your operating system. You're most likely Win64. Unless you're running a Mac or Linux, you're probably Win64. The last one's a little challenging. Chrome driver. It's maintained by Chromium. You get it from that URL, chromedriver.chromium.org slash downloads. The hard part is there's so many versions. Now, one would think that this is the most recent version, and you're probably right. However, you need to check that. You need to come up here to help about Chrome and get your version. I'm currently at 86. Chrome updates itself whenever it wants to update itself. So when you go to download this, you need to make sure you get the current version that matches what you have. If you get 87 and you have 86, it'll die and give you 45 lines of error. The middle one says this only works on 87. So download what you, those two drivers. You're downloading the 
Gecko in your downloading Chrome driver. And I'd recommend put them in your sliding folder. I have my Chrome driver folder here, and there's this one file called Chrome driver, and I have my Gecko driver with my Gecko driver. I know my path to it, SQL and backslash, exclamation marks, Selenium backslash Gecko driver. I know the path. I'm not going to set this up in NetBeans. Okay, so you're going to open up NetBeans. You're going to create a new project. It's easier to create a new project. You're going to add a bunch of folders to it, or add a bunch of jars to it. You notice I've got a bunch of them over here. You can make sure of all of those. So here's my NetBeans. New project. Libraries. And you need to add two sets of libraries. I'm going to start with add jar folder. I'm going to browse wherever my Selenium is, and again, I know where that is because I put it there. Here's the Selenium download we've got today. Add these two jars. Do it again. Go into libs and add all of these jars. If you're missing some of these weird things are going to happen. That weird thing means you're going to get code and you're going to swear, I did everything right, and you're right, you did everything right, so you missed a step. So we're halfway there. We now have it set up. We're now going to write a code. We need to add some drivers of code. We need to add some ports and write a little bit of code. It's really too bad. Start with these imports. I'm lazy. I already have them. So add those imports. Pretty much is everything Selenium, everything in Selenium support UI, and then you're adding in the two drivers we're going to work with, Chrome and Firefox. If you want to play with Edge, if you want to play with Explorer, go get those, and you're on your own for that. Which is that now we have to write a function very similar to this. Let me describe this. We're going to connect to Amazon. Amazon really doesn't like you to scrape their website. I'm just going to use it to prove it loads, because Amazon is always up and running. This becomes what I use to connect with. Web driver is whatever web page or whatever browser you want to use. System set property will tell my NetBeans when I say web driver, Chrome driver, to use this path in my Chrome driver. And this is wherever you have it stored. This is your path. Do not blindly type equal and backslash backslash slanting and backslash Chrome driver dot exe because it'll fail unless you happen to have me drive and you put it in the slanting folder. This is just a nicety. This launches Chrome. This opens up the websites. So again, it's just a nice to tell us what the, the page title is, and this will quit. So let's do that. Where is my NetBeans? There it is. Okay. So I'm going to create my static variable, and it makes sense to create it up here. Because if you have more than one method, you're going to use this web driver. And more than one method will be more than one test. We're not going to do all of our testing in just main. This is just proof of concept. So we're going to set property. It's a map, so we're going to set the web driver. Then it's the location. For those of you who are typing challenged, or for those of you that are smart, this is easier. Go browse to it, paste it in there. It is a .exe file. If you want to use the Firefox one, it's the same thing. This will launch up Chrome driver. This will load the URL.
driver.quit will stop browser from running normally you do that I'm gonna leave mine up just to prove it works so I'm gonna run my file Chrome driver started it starts up and I misspelled my typing of Amazon but one thing we see here is Chrome is being controlled by automated test software that's good that's what I want so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna type the URL correctly try it again there's Amazon I look at my output page title was amazon.com online shopping blah 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 that is Amazon's title so what this is proving to you is selenium loads selenium works and you can get information from it I'm going to close out of here. The program stops. I do recommend driver.quit there. That way it goes away when you're done. If you want to use Firefox, you replace this with Firefox. Everywhere it says Chrome, you do Firefox or Gecko. All right, so you have successfully installed Selenium and you have made it work. From this point on, you have to learn how to start to automate your web pages by learning how to use the selectors, and then you need to learn how to use the certs. Have fun with Selenium.